Hey guys, welcome to the server tour of the Hagecraft hub server and Kit PvP server, which are both just released. And we got me and Kyle here that are going to be showing you around and teaching you some of the must-know commands. Yes, we will be. So Kyle, do you want to show them just the basic ones to get between the servers? Very nice. Okay. Well, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to spawn in right on this little platform here. And this is just a hub server, and the only purpose of it really is to choose a server you want to go to. You're not really going to be spending much time in here. So simply look at these signs, figure out which server you want to go to, and head into that portal. Or you can always do the easier way, doing slash servers. We'll provide you with a nice little menu here with a description, the name, and the amount of people online, which is a really nice little system we have going here. And you can just click on one of them, and it'll take you to that server. So what server you want to go to, Hades? Yeah, we'll jump straight onto the PvP server, I guess. Let's do that. Bam. I'm just going to use the portal to start off with to show you how this works. All right. All right. For those of you who don't want to use the command, you can use the portals, but I would highly recommend using the commands. They're way easier. And as you can see, I got teleported right to where I logged off on the server previously. So it takes you right back to where you left, as if you were to disconnect, pretty much. And exactly what happens, you're disconnecting from the server. Yeah, so if I type slash servers again, that brings up these, and now I'm going to jump back onto the kit, or I'm going to jump to the kit PvP server to show you guys that. Yep. Bam. And I think, it's, I think it's worth mentioning, guys, that the only thing that's shared between these servers is teleportation. You can only teleport between each one. Donations, money... Items, factions, homes, everything is separate to each server. The only difference is that you can teleport between them. And they're completely separate servers too, so... So to start off, when you get onto this server, you'll want to check out all the signs. It makes things way easier for you. It's just really simple commands that make everything really easy for you. As you can see here is the stats information. That's the command you can use to see who's leading in the top 10 and the stats and see how many kills you have as well as the leaderboards over here. Each one of these columns is, is a different leaderboard, and at the top is the top leader, and the bottom is obviously the last, but they're obviously ahead of all these other people, because there's heaps of people on the server. And what other commands are there? There's a bunch of them over here, like the warp parkour. These are mainly for donators, some of these, like the fill all for warrior only, ignore for knight. But we're going to go test one of them out, so let's go warp parkour. Bam! Teleports me up here. There's already a bunch of kids doing it, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and finish it, I guess. Without falling. Oh, Kyle, see so you fell already. Yeah. It's a pretty simple jumping puzzle, like you should be able to make it fairly easy once you get used to it. Oh my goodness. And there is swiftness nice. potions at the top. So that's what I'm going for now. Oh, oh I nearly made it! That's bullshit. I'm just going to go it. ahead and fly myself up here. I did it. Wait. I did it. Oh, I'm sure you did. And there's the sign right there. You just click and grab as many swiftness potions as you want. Just switch out the swiftness potions for mushroom stew. You put them in there and then it'll disappear. Yeah, so... That's all you need. I think making the stats command worthwhile may be good, or the stats like board may be worthwhile to show because people seem to be kind of confused. They're like, where do I enchant my 500 levels at? <laughs> yeah. So the XP bow is actually how much points you have. So as you can see, I'm on 610 right now, and that is my points. When I kill people, I get like around 20 points, depending on how many points they have. You get 5% yeah. of the points that they have, and they lose 5% of the points they have. Yeah, so it works really well, guys. And we'll do slash PvP, because that's what everyone will be starting off with. This is the basic kit. As, so as soon as you log in, type slash PvP, bam, you're fully geared, ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and run out and try and kill some people. Got to oh, get out of GM. Fly mode first. So now I'm playing 100% legit, and I've got the normal kit that everyone else has. Let's see if anyone's down here. Oh, there's a bunch of people following me as well. Yeah, Death right. Monkey's AU is actually my brother, so he's in the room right next to me. I did not even know this. probably hear me talking right now. I did not even know this. <laughs> oh, there's people getting jumped. I'm going to go for this guy, I think. Oh, getting hit in the back. There's people everywhere. 
Just make sure to pop your mushroom soups. That's the key to winning, guys. Oh, this guy wants some, does he? Come on. Don't run away. What the hell? This guy's an idiot. He doesn't even have any, like, he doesn't have any kit when there's free. Like, you can just grab it. <laughs> Everyone's just having a mosh pit here. I'm going to try and kill this guy before he eats too much soup. No. Oh, he's running. Why do they always yeah. run? By the way, this awesome epic map built by DPS Legend. He's awesome. Yeah, the map's feel... actually... Oh, there we go. I just killed that guy. got 19 points. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Spin your camera around if you don't know what you're doing. Quick. <laughs> Let's get out of here before I get killed. And I'll sh do a sh quick showcase of the actual map. You're basically boxed in a big square, guys. But how it works is, this is the only place you can go and you can't build. So there's PvP structures all around the map. Over there there's a river, a little cave. Another cave oh. over here. And DPS also bought, or built all these towers around the map as well. Okay, this guy's just been hitting me for like 10 minutes, we have to kill him. Pop the mushroom soup. Get back into hitting him. And he's dead. See you later, buddy. <laughs> There, there are go. lots of fun structures to PvP in, for sure. Very fun PvP. Yeah, there's stuff everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and kill myself here. Just to be fair on everyone, because I want to showcase some different kits. And to do that... Oh, what am I doing here? i got to go slash warp space donate. And that'll take me straight to the donations room. And here are all the kits you can possibly buy. And if you buy one higher up, don't worry about it. You'll get all the ones valued below it as well. So, my, this is what I think is the most popular one, the archer one. You get a crazy good bow, you can just knock back and take on like five people at once. That's probably my favourite kit. But, most people I think will like the warrior, because it's just a really like sturdy class that'll be able to kill lots of people. You get a diamond chest plate, so you're a bit more tanky, and you also get a bow, which is good. But of course, this kit's valued way higher, depending on how much you want to donate. All donations are really appreciated, guys. It helps keep the server running. And as you probably notice, there's a thousand slots at the moment now. We have the hub server, the kit PvP server, and the PvP server all running. So we're paying for all the hostage of all them. And we also have future servers probably coming out. Oh so my that'll be good. goodness, it's way too much for Minecraft servers, God. <laughs> pay a, we pay a lot. Alright, I think that's pretty much it. We've shown you all the commands you'll need to know to get started. And we'll see you guys on the server. Oh, Peace. we forgot to tell them the IP. That's probably a good a good start. Oh, that might be a good start. So you can awesome. connect, like, as we said, you can go between our servers as much as you want. So you only need to know one of the IPs. But I'll type them in chat here anyway. So we get hub.hadescraft.com. That'll connect you to the hub. We also have kitpvp.hadescraft.com. That'll connect you to the kitpvp server, obviously. And we have pvp.hadescraft.com. And you can I connect, yeah. I think it's worth mentioning that these are forced. So if you are using pvp.hadescraft.com, it's always going to take you to the kit PvP server first, not the last server you were on. But if you use hub.hadescraft.com, it'll take you to the last server you were on, whatever server that may be. Yeah. Same thing for PvP. It's a forced one. It'll always take you to the PvP server. So make sure you add these to your Minecraft server list, guys, and we'll see you on the server. Peace. Peace.